Welcome. We thank you for listening with us today. We ask that you please stow away and secure all important items. There are no emergency exits. So, just sit back, relax, fasten your earbuds, and enjoy. Coming to you from sunny Orlando, Florida, this is Funny to Informing. Welcome. We thank you for listening with us today. We ask that you please stow away and secure all important items. There are no emergency exits. So, just sit back, relax, fasten your earbuds, and enjoy. Coming to you from sunny Orlando, Florida, this is Funny to Informing. Welcome. We thank you for listening with us today. We ask that you please stow away and secure all important items. There are no emergency exits. So, just sit back, relax, fasten your earbuds, and enjoy. Coming to you from sunny Orlando, Florida, this is Funny to Informing. It's Thursday. It's 7.30. Do you know where your children are? I'm Chris Pizza Peisenberg Coleman. And this I'm John. John Hannon. And this is Funny to Informing Live, episode 103. And if your kids are listening to this, I'm sorry. Be better parents. <laughs> what do we got on tap tonight, the, John? Uh, oh, we got, um, well, we got Digi Hears in the back half of this. And um, I'm, I'm expecting a few phone calls. And uh, we, we got definitely some uh, hurricane conversation to get to. There's some no doubt what, about some that. Some what conversation? Her- Hurricane. Hurricane. I'm going to try to try to say it right. Get your her did. <laughs> Hurricane. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, one of the ones that we do live on Thursdays at 7 o'clock. Um, it's, Normally. Uh, Tonight at 7.30. We're yeah. a little delayed. A little late. That's Technical uh, difficulties with the weather and the preparedness of the hurricane. Yeah. That is well, hurricane that is to come. As of right now, yeah, you can't even go to a gas station and uh and get anything, really. The lines alone, are bad. Let the alone lines gas. Are bad. Right. I'm yeah. already seeing the, you know, the obligatory posts from the grocery store of empty racks. And I'm like, well that, that there's where water once stood. Yeah, yeah. So um I think it's gonna be a good hour. And we had our first event, you know, uh over the past weekend. So I want to uh Sunday. definitely talk about it's that. It's a good time. Yeah. And uh I don't know. Quickly I, uh, before we start, John. Well, okay. John can't right. look. John, this is you can't see this, but we have a drinking game for this for this week. Anytime what? you hear John say the magic word, what's the magic word? That's the magic word. Can you see that? All right. It's apparently, that's clearly viewable. When you see that magic, when that magic word is said by by my co-host here, um, have a drink with us. Have a drink with us. Okay, that's well, fine. I got. What it. is so? How how are we going to know what the word is? Are you just going to? I know what the word is. I made it up. Oh. Now they know. So, really? Yeah, anybody viewing. And if you're listening, uh, I'll tell you at the end what the word was, and then you can have drinks for every time John said that word. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay? That's fine. That's yeah. the deal. And uh, All right, so we're available on uh, twitch.tv slash Amplified Network and youtube.com slash Amplified Network. Um, and then even if you don't catch us live, you can catch it after the fact or still in our podcast stream. But um, iTunes, how, yeah. Google Play, Stitcher, everywhere mm-hmm. on Fridays. And uh, have you have you been uh, in the past week or so? Um, it's been. I mean, we saw each other not even that long ago. The last right? well, we had was the, the event. Yeah, we had the event Sunday, and I haven't seen you since then. And it was a nice break. I was I was really sick of your face. 
<laughs> and I was like, I need a good hard break from this guy. Well, Thank even God. at the event, I don't feel like we and you got together so much. No, you know? you're right. We were you're kind right. Of, of course, you know, I was on kidding, both sides of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate you too. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. But I know. You said, I know what you mean. Yeah, it, and it was a great time. I think we had in and around thirty people, thirty give or take people, show up. We definitely filled up Wally's. Um, a few people came in, just stragglers actually coming into the bar, and I kind of felt sorry for him. I was like, Oh God, do you know what you walked into? Uh, Some we're of them loud, and we're taking up the whole bar. Hopefully, you can find two, two, three, four seats for yourself and your group. Um, and I felt bad, but there was only really a few stragglers. I'm glad we filled the place up for them that day. Yeah, I was, and I was gonna because there were the few that came in, and then the second that they saw everybody, they kind of walked out right away. But um, you know, they did they, they did, we, did, uh, some, we did we turn some people away at the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, mission sure. accomplished. Uh, I, but I feel like it was um, you know mutual. Like we we helped them, and they really really helped us. And, the staff uh, was awesome. Holy crap! One bartender, amazing, and the manager who hung out most of the day, not even helping, just drinking. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Flirting was... with my buddy Mike. So hope it... you got that number, Mike. <laughs> T, shout out to you. You're a sweetheart, and yeah, we, we love you. I speak for well, John. Okay. We love you for the because love was in the air. You know what I mean? It was <laughs> like uh, people were definitely getting into their drinks. Uh, they had was, some like there was that the specials that they had because it was like you can get the PB and J, the Pabst yeah, Blue they had Ribbon, the PB and J, which is one of my favorite specials. They do it's Pabst Blue Ribbon and Jameson for five dollars. Uh, one in one in can. It was it like sixteen ouncer. Uh, one sixteen ounce can. Yeah, sixteen ounce. The old PBR can. Yeah. And a shot of Jameson for five dollars. You can't beat it. It's the perfect blend. They and were really mixing it up though. They did something called the M and M. It was an MIA, a tap of MIA, which is really good uh beer out of uh Miami Brewing. Um and a shot of was it American Honey by Jack Daniels? I didn't have that oh, one. I had a couple of those. That was my downfall. Ooh, um, I kinda wish I did. That was a good time. And those were five bucks too, and you couldn't beat it. They had like some specialty vodka on sale all day. They it was cool. Yeah. They did and they, some specials. And they, and they let they us really like, they because we brought in like giveaways and stuff, you know what I mean? And we yeah. brought in uh we brought a in little food. and a little bit of food. Yeah. And so, they let us give the food out because they don't serve food yet. Yeah. Hot dogs coming soon. Yet. Yeah, and there's, then um, there's food coming, and they, you know, they, so they let us really take over the place for a few hours. You know, it was about probably about what yep. three and a half hours. Probably we de- definitely outstayed our welcome. I feel like uh. <laughs> we should have left maybe thirty minutes before we did, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was really cool and and and, and chill and be cool, bro, as we like to say. Um, mostly, um, yeah. Just, I'll just say, don't come to people's events and poach. Yeah, your own guests. And I, uh, just work on your own guests on your own time. It, I, I'll it, say that it is what it is. It's whatever. It's whatever. I don't even. Right. I'm not even that worried about it. I choose not it's, to do that. Um, and then there was a. I had to help somebody to their car, uh, or like you know, just because oh, they that. were stumbling out of the place. And then, um, uh, you know, I was just helping uh, Bluegill. You know, he gives us the scoop on the group, and uh, usually, so, he's yeah, very. And like, very participatory and that's what g- that's what got me it was because like bluegill and then it was like uh, micronaut and like uh, they, and you know everybody was coming like it seemed like a lot of couples you know everybody you know was bringing their wives and yeah. it was such an and they were coming was from a lot of couples. over an hour away they would yeah. be, be coming from there was a couple of them that to, came from that just far. to be there for a few Super hours Super appreciative of them to do that for sure it was uh it was uh, yeah incredible and everybody told me that they had a really good time so i'm glad it worked out in the way it did i'm already like i kind of already wanted to do another one yeah, right. It, like I know, but you can't blow it out. Like I know, you gotta, you know, not, it's better better late than never than uh, ramming it down your throat into another meetup. Like, yeah, yeah. Nobody wants that. The, once we get something figured out, I think you know, because I, I want to come up with good ideas too. Because if you get into it too fast, and, and remember how hard it was all... to find the right venue, like we got to do that all over again. Yeah, yeah. Because we were we were on the hunt for a few few months, right? We were just hunting, yeah, trying to... Yeah. yeah, we had like... Yeah, that was like a last minute thing. I was like, man, let's fucking do Wally's. Like, we just started going to Wally's and we really liked it. And we said, let's do yeah. it. And they were receptive. It's a, That was our first official event. And, um, you know, because we, we... I mean... Since our, our only really other event that we represented anything in was uh, the Spring Bake back last yeah, April. Yeah, so like, it was our first solo one. Yeah. But we did do the Spring Bake because you were... Uh, one of the pizza makers in the contest, you know. I was the only pizza maker in the contest. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Rocky. I, I think if you were there, you remember that. Yeah, um, I, uh, I produced a show called What's the Fuss? And uh, it's a terrible Rocky, show. the host, you was, should listen. was the uh, the other contestant and failed miserably. Um, yeah, but what, yeah, I won KOA through a great event that day, and I felt like we were kind of a part of that, but ever, that's the first real one, so it was, it was a lot of it fun. It was a great was turnout cool. and a really good time, so yeah. thank you everyone for coming out. I hope you liked the little gift back. Bags. Shout out to Adri Mama for putting those together. She did a yeah. great job. She's in the chat room Thank already. Thank you so with much. Her and Bluegill are both in there. Hey, guys. And uh, 
And, okay, so while we're on the subject of events, also before we we no. move on, no. um, I my high school reunion, my ten year is coming up soon. Uh, is it? Yeah, just ten and years. Yeah, yeah, just ten, ten years, years now. young man. That's it. <laughs> okay, it's, this wasn't meant to make you feel bad. I so didn't you graduated wanna... in 09? Uh, no, ten. Okay, so 10 you're, exactly. So, okay, so yeah, I'm I graduated in ninety nine. So my twenty year just happened. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So just wait on that one. I didn't go. I'm not so excited. Don't worry. For if you're it. wondering, let me save you the drama. It didn't happen. Didn't go. Why? Uh, you 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 didn't go to the ten year or the twenty? No, I don't even think I was in touch with everybody at the ten year point in time. I wasn't even in touch with anybody from high school. I've just kind of found them recently through Facebook. Well, and I think it's like up to the valedictorian, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, is the one that's supposed to like. Um, get the reunion back together you know so if is they that don't, who that's yeah it's for, I, I think for the most like, part well, that's they're the most responsible because they were fucking mm-hmm. valedictorian right? so they're in like um, doing their shit in school and yeah, you know following yeah, yeah. the letter of the law so and they're very organized so set that shit up yeah I don't I don't know if I'm gonna go to mine or not I didn't even I'm, go to school why would I go to the fucking <laughs> or go to the reunion <laughs> yeah. Jesus I'm gonna skip that too fuck it <laughs> no because I I don't I really haven't decided because it would be good to go and see everybody and like uh, share, you know, stories of maybe what we've been doing after high school or, you know, see how people change. Catching up. Yeah. The seeing how people uh, changed is going to be the big one. I want to see like, you know, the like the huge difference. It's always in some of them. Yeah. The ugly kids in high school are probably the hot ones now and vice versa. The hot yeah. ones are probably it's cool to see like how the uh, quarterback and cheerleader have fallen off and are now like. Beer bellied mm, fucking yeah, yeah. pieces of shit. The, well, because like yeah, and then meth the, addicted assholes. The nerds are going to be in the suits and uh, you know looking yeah, real good. Yeah, the nerds with their money. Yeah, they can't make it because they live in California now. It does come <laughs> full. <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah, they that's can't how even you really judge up. it. Did you go? No, yeah. You're kind of a loser. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Exactly. Uh, anyways, that I just <laughs> exactly. wanted to put that out. John there reinforces you're a loser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, me too. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, I can admit it when me I am. Me too. I'm a loser. I'm movement. not worried about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, what do we have we, uh, later on? I know we're going to be calling Coco, which uh, we and I think we well, talked blow, about it. Way to just blow the story early. No, man. I think we <laughs> talked about it for a second. Uh, you know, on another episode that we, we were going to last week, actually. Yeah, once we kind a of month. came up with the idea. During the show, and right we're then, like, yeah, right. let's do that. <laughs> and then by putting it in the show, we're now forced to do it. So, Coco, it's happening. Yeah, I, well, once <laughs> a month, available. Once a month, we do. I do want to get to sports. You know, every so often. So, like, I think like every fourth show, we're gonna have Coco either come in or we're gonna try to call him. We're gonna we give, give him a, a whole, call. We'll give him a whole segment. Yeah, in the future, not tonight. Yeah, no, 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 no. He's right got to work his way up. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's great. Give him a whole segment. I can take a break. I can pee if I need to. It's beautiful. Yeah. Run to the yeah, store, yeah, yeah. get some beers, whatever. Okay, so um, what do we have? Uh, obviously, what else we got? this weekend is going to be uh, when we're supposed to be getting hit with this uh, Hurricane Dorian. Is that the name? Dorian. Yes. Hurricane Dorian. Hurricane is, um, or Hurricane? I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. That's why I. That's why I hate when these hurricanes come the most. Is because I have to say the word, and uh-huh. then you just shit on me I love for it. it. I was like, "Yes, this is. We have a, a running joke this week." I don't like it. I don't. I, you don't like my jokes, or you don't like your word about the hurricane. I don't like that I say it wrong. Okay, because no, I kind of just, identify okay, that you're I say over it wrong. Focusing on the word now, but I'm getting back to the actual. Right, right, right. Storm activity. This, uh, yeah, because now it's been intensifying, and uh, every time it missed Puerto Rico. It was supposed to hit Puerto Rico thankfully. and slow it down. Well, thankfully for Puerto Rico, but badfully for us, because now it's just gaining strength. Yeah, in open water. It was instead uh, of it's been in open water for ever and ever. It's going to remain that way right until it slams into America's penis. Every, yeah. Florida. <laughs> every uh, every few hours, which I mean, which every if nobody knows or if everybody knows, we do it, the show in Orlando. So who knows if we're going to be here next week? I don't know what the electricity yeah. situation might be our last show. So it's going to be. We're going like, to make it good. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know, but it, like it's and every few hours there's just articles of this storm getting worse and worse, and uh, it's it was supposed to be here and be a category two, and then it uh, was a three, and now now I think it's supposed to be a four with like a hundred and ten mile per hour winds. Yeah, they keep changing the tracks, but I mean it's gonna probably more than likely hit the east coast of Florida somewhere, and then come up through the state probably and just drive 
tons and tons of I, I'm not worried about anything but you know wind and rain knocking out my power and me being without power for an extended period of time that's that, that seems that sounds like a nightmare for me that's what people would have to prepare for the the most is right. um you and that's know that's what I'm not prepared for yeah so, like I, if you have some you kind guys of are you just email me and I'll get saved from the storm when it happens. Yeah, so. yeah. my well, and, and my boss was telling me he was like, if you put uh, water in a Ziploc baggie and yeah, just yeah, throw yeah. it in the freezer, he's like, at least you'll have some kind of ice so that like when you know that's the, the most overused tip. You can kind of like make a cooler. It's true, but it's yeah. Which it's well, like oh, saying if you save a hundred pennies, you have a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. well, because well, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't what, need to know that. What I like to do is like. Um, Fill up the bath, uh, the bathtubs, and plug them, and leave them filled with water. Ooh, I don't drink out of my bath. No, you no, fucking animal. What do you have? Do you and the family dip your heads in there like a trough, like right. pigs? No, on no. the farm. No. <laughs> I knew it. It's a Philly thing. I fucking Think about knew it. it. Think about it. No, like, I know. I already know what it's yeah, for. It makes total sense. You're using the toilet, and you but have to flush or something. When does the then, water not work? Uh, your power goes out, but even without power, your oh, water still works. No, the water would go out sometimes. I, I think it did for uh, that long. Where you gotta. I guess. I think our water went out for uh, Irma, Did if it? I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I didn't lose power or water or any of that. And then when I was you on flush. the downtown grid and it was great. And now I'm not. And if, you know, if, if an angel farts, I lose power now. So I know <laughs> I'm going to be fucked. And, and, and it's going to be a nightmare for me. They're like, that big people, giant tree. People have under. to watch out for that to, yeah. for trees. And Everything park. in your yard becomes debris. Do not park under one of those or your car may get crushed. Ironically, like you want to know what that big ass, that big ass tree that's going to come down in my yard, you know what kind of tree that is? No. A water oak. Is it really? And yeah. How, okay, how ironic see. is that? And then the rain comes and you fucking water in your living room because the trees through your yeah, roof. Yeah, water's its weakness and it you know completely collapses uh, despite being called that. Uh, well, <laughs> and, yeah, like uh, the a lot of people have been joking way too much about it though, and I feel like they've been sh- kind of shitting on it, like not taking it seriously. I've been seeing well, whatever on my sh- happened to fire your guns at Irma, twenty seventeen. That was a good time. <laughs> Everyone shoot your guns at the go yeah. to the coast and shoot your guns at the storm. To the point where the government, the state government, actually came out and was like, uh, "Don't do not do this, guys. That's a bad idea." Yeah, well, there, people uh, were taking it seriously. There like was the whole storm fifty one, the area fifty one. Oh that the, yeah, it was taken in the same vein as that it was. A they total had to address joke that, and people, yeah, people were taking it seriously and it got addressed. It's uh, but and there was like the one joke uh, a few years ago where it was like, "Point your fans towards the Atlantic." And try to yeah, blow the hurricane back. That's a back. good one too, right? Uh, yeah, right. Like, that's a little bit so this more year, innocent. One. I don't know. There's not one of those. And well, no, well kind of this nuke year. Em. It's like they tell uh, you to nuke. I'm, I'm too busy. I'm stocking up on chicken fucking sandwiches before they sell out. <laughs> then I'll go buy water. Yeah, exactly. The, priorities well, are priorities. Yeah, I think the running joke is the the shoot a nuclear missile at it, and uh, that'll somehow stop it. It'll at least generate a massive amounts of power, so we won't run out of power. We'll be nuclear powered, right? Just via the environment and die slowly over a long <laughs> probably uh, quickly, period of time. Probably quickly. You th- oh, with well. that kind of radiation. Have you seen Chernobyl? Hmm. If you no, haven't. I have not. I highly recommend it. I have not. Uh, I, I, what is? What It'll is, educate you a bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, what <laughs> else do we got? I, be, I we got bet. all kind of notes, man. I fucking Which bet. direction are you taking us? Uh, okay. Where are we headed? You're driving this bus. I'm just in the back, like ro- with Rosa. No. Is that how that? Is that how that works? That. Yep. I don't even know what that's referencing. Uh, <laughs> These the are your Selma notes. Selma bus fucking stuff, bro. Come on, man. Civil rights. God, John Hannon. Uh, <laughs> oh, Rosa Parks. Okay. Yeah, these are all your notes, too. I don't write like little chicken scratch, bro. No. That's all your stuff. The, uh, no, the next thing I have is Did You Hears. Yeah. No, well, you want to do that? More. Yeah, we can get into Did You Actually, Hears yeah. whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into we Did You Hears. we got tons of them. So. And um, I don't know. Do we have to hook the phone up to the uh, to the line? Yeah, yeah, we can we'll hook up and take some calls. You can kick off your first Digi. Okay, and all right, I'll hook yeah. up and we'll so, get going. So, Digi here, um, it, over the weekend, uh, a 10-year-old uh, shot himself playing with a gun that he got from his, I believe his mother, but if not, you know, his father, uh, one of his parents, uh, in Daytona, and um, he was airlifted to the hospital, and he was okay, and everything was fine, and he survived it, but um, it kind of, every once in a while, I feel like people need to be made aware to, like, keep your firearms away from or completely out of reach from your kids especially you know if you have uh, young ones that you know you, if you're making it too available to them or give them access it's too easily with anything absolutely like the kid should have never had the gun in the first place yeah and at first i was i i thought you meant it like it was a random shooting and you know he was out and 
some who knows some uh, one like adult was shooting or... at another adult or whatever, and he just got yeah crossfire of some type. Yeah, I think it was... I didn't realize he was shot by the own gun the ha- the gun he was handling. Yeah, which was and, his and parents. I don't I don't know where he got shot exactly, but and, and he was playing around with a couple of his friends, you know, just I I guess and somebody he died. No, no, no. Oh, he made thank it. Thank you. Yeah, he was. We shouldn't air- do any stories of kids dying. They airlifted let's, to the. Let's make that. I know. A thing. Make everyone. No dead kid stories. That make them all end uh, well and and yeah, good. Yeah. Everything was perfectly. So even if they die, we say they lived. No, but this one did Noted. end well. Okay, but this one lived. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Wink. don't yeah. <laughs> and just like I would uh, recommend applying that like three step rule. You know, like put keep your uh, maybe your clip and your. Gun like the it's called itself. a magazine boy. Don't get them. Yeah. Don't get them right. Keep your started. mag and your gun you separate. <laughs> yep. Yep. You're, you're, uh, unloaded. Then, unloaded weapon. Yeah. Maybe in a box and yeah, then in, with a lock. And something. Yeah. A safe. They make gun safes. It's the. Even it's small that easy. Ones, if you don't have a big ass rifle, you can get a small gun safe to keep your small gun in. And I feel like same thing. Drugs, guns, adult things should be kept away from your kids. Yeah, and I feel like it's a good little, you know, just three-step rule to apply. I mean, to The kid to, didn't to find to his mom's vibrator, but he felt, found his dad's gun. Like, you know, right? let's put I away bet, better. I bet they wish put, they put found the that place, instead. At the top of the closet, you know? In a, in a lockbox. <laughs> yeah. Have the same type of uh, urgency and anxiety <laughs> over that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It is, it's uh, a three-step process before you can masturbate, ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, uh, candles lit. <laughs> Soldry music and uh, <laughs> and lotion and the, and the lots tub. of lotion, <laughs> all the lotion. <laughs> Friction City is what he's getting. All right, um, okay. I have a uh, another one. Uh, the oh, have you been hearing about the um, the Hong Kong protests that's been going on? Oh, are we being serious it's, now? Yeah, it's okay. been lasting. Yes, I actually have heard about this okay. in the airports, you, right? Yeah. Or is it in the streets and everywhere now? Um, oh my God, it's is all it over. Spread? And yeah, it's well, like not, I don't know outside of Hong Kong. It starts in Hong Kong, and then we're protest- protesting next week because yeah, we well. caught that shit. It spread. <laughs> I'm not. I don't feel that passionate no? about okay. it. Right. I'm not getting you're too not, involved. You haven't made a picket sign yet. No, okay. no, no. Maybe okay. later. I'm, I'll procrastinate until I die. Uh, no, because uh, they, they, they've been getting uh, like around a million people together to to do this what protest. Exactly, are they protesting? It's been a it's been a long standing um, uh, protest. It's like going on. It's like twelfth or thirteenth week or okay. something like that. And really, uh, that long. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and that's why it's growing in size so much. Yeah, the way, like, the way I, like, when I researched it, this is what I figured out for the most part, is that it's kind of in relation to their anti-extradition laws that they just, like, recently applied. Okay. Um, And supposedly, uh, like, how it really came about for the most part was, um, it was the introduction of the bill due to a murdering case that happened in Taiwan on March 17, 2018. A man in Hong Kong named... Oh, I'm not okay, going to okay. even Come try. On, yeah, what's his name? Yeah, nope. what is it? Joe Smith? Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to try. Joe Smith. <laughs> Dub it in here. Yeah. So and so murdered his girlfriend. I can't So-and-so do it. So part two. I can't do the other one either. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> and while they were on a vacation in Taiwan, and he was charged with like theft and uh, stole, like handling stolen goods or something. Okay. But the Taiwanese so um, was he investigators. A, an Ameri- oh, he's Taiwanese. The. I, I think he lives in Hong Kong, but he went to on vacation to Taiwan, okay. and then he committed the crime. The okay. he murdered his girlfriend. Got gotcha. you. And then he came back to Hong Kong, but because there's an anti extradition law gotcha. where he can't go anywhere, gotcha. the Taiwanese investigators can't can't go pick him up. Yeah, can't the, the question government him. Won't work with him. Yeah, they right. can't, they can't do nothing about uh-huh. it. And then it's and like there's a handful of these countries, these no extradition countries. Belize is like the biggest one. I feel like on this side. Of the hemisphere, close to us. Everybody's always like, oh, I'll murder my neighbor if his dogs don't shut up and I'll just move to Belize and they'll never get me. It's kind of scary. Like, I don't... Like, I, don't I don't believe you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you. Jesus, man. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> you, man. Yeah. You, you, you. This is the hardest room That's I've ever you. worked for. Oh. John Hannon. My God. What do you want from me? I don't have any... The, the, the audience of one <laughs> that doesn't get my shit. It's awesome. <laughs> Well, we are. Uh, you said you were going on your twentieth high school reunion, and I'm going on my tenth year. So, it's coming up, yeah. what does that tell you? I'm, I don't what does know. that tell you? Got you got shit for taste? I don't know Heard. either. I uh, I see that you because you have digi hears too. Yeah, I wrote I a lot know. of stuff down. I had stuff. What? Uh, okay, so what do you have? You can. So I, there was a. This was a. Okay, I just heard this one. This news is two or three days old as we record here on Thursday. Um, so it happened earlier in the week here. Um, but uh. A deputy, uh, his name was Angel Reynosa, and uh, he was in uh, Lancaster, California, which is in 
Los Angeles County. He uh, he got on the radio. You and I heard the heard the the actual radio audio earlier. Oh, we were, this is the where the we were looking it up where the police the, yeah, the, police, like the police officer yeah the police himself. officer he was a, he was a deputy about. yeah he was a deputy out there for Lancaster and uh, and he called in on his radio that he had just gotten in his car outside the station and was shot by a shot at twice by a sniper and that he he got hit in the shoulder. Well, they they researched more. They went on a giant manhunt all around the city. They apparently kicked in doors in the apartment complex across the street from where they were. Oh yeah, just like uh, like searching and raiding. Uh, yeah, people. raiding apartments without. I'm sure they didn't have warrants because they they assumed a sniper was in their apartments possibly. So they just kicked the doors in. I'm sure just helped themselves to clear the clear the apartments. Anyway, long story short, he wound up. He said he got hit in the shoulder twice, and the vest stopped the bullet from penetrating his skin. That but explained the hole in his shirt. We well, went to the hospital. I guess his his sergeant showed up to to ask him some questions to get you know further report on what had happened, and that's when he admitted from the hospital bed that it was all fake. He made it all up. No one ever shot. He was never shot, and that he made the holes in his shirt with a knife in his car. I don't understand it. I don't like. What's the motivation? And then there? To, the, to this point, like I said, I looked this up just before we started recording about seven o'clock tonight, and. They still had no answers as to why he was. He's he's now been fired. He's no longer a sheriff's deputy. Thank well, God. you're. I mean, <laughs> but, he's but lucky they have he's no not answers getting arrested. As to why? Yeah, he, he's probably going to get no, uh, charged. He, he does definitely face potential charges for file, uh, filing a false report. Yeah, I mean, because come filing on, filing a false report. That's well, it. Everybody's like, time that you're wasting in weak. like you know houses that are getting raided. All yeah, those they people. Did a, they put a giant manhunt. You're wasting out. I saw their the time. Video. They're like, you know, they're they're in like riot gear, kicking in fucking apartment doors. It was yeah, it was not ideal. That's that's yeah, that's absolutely too much. And uh, I I don't know. I mean, and I guess you know, mistakes can be made or whatever. But and then he he just like admits it. He just point blank admits that, like, oh yeah, I lied about that. Like, you know, that's uh, that's my bad. I guess I'm sorry uh, about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I guess we'll never know because now with the way the news cycles, you know, flow, it'll be there's there's more news already. That was two days ago. Obviously, there's been more news churned up since then, and we'll never really know. Uh, yeah, because the whole story to, to try to figure out why anybody would uh, be wanting to do that is beyond me. It's I don't know what there is to gain from that. You know, you're going to get a news story, and right. that's great. But I, I mean, otherwise, I have no idea. That's not a not a good approach. It doesn't make any sense, and we'll never know now. So no, no, the world okay. will never know. Yeah. Um. This one actually, this one pertains to. I know this one will affect our producer here a little bit. I noticed on our way in when I when I show up here, I have to ring his ring doorbell. Ring doorbell. Did you hear this story? They're everywhere now. They are everywhere. But did you hear about the ring doorbell? They just I know, uh, I know of them. Well, okay. Well, did you hear the story in that they just uh, did a signed a, an agreement with over four hundred police departments countrywide to make what they're calling let me read this right the new neighborhood watch. And actually, the we're getting new... a call from my buddy Zach right now. Oh, okay. So, we'll so ask what, him is what he... he thinks about yeah, this for sure? He definitely knows. Uh... And I'll give you more information when we get when we get signed in here. Yeah. Because. No, yeah, because that uh, because because yeah, that because that ring doorbell was on um Shark Tank, and was it? Yeah, Is it was it was called start? it was called something else, but uh, you know, and they rebranded. Um, but yeah, that guy rejected like the sharks offers, and then and went, went out did, on his own. Went did his own thing. And he's doing just blew fine. up. He's doing yeah, just fine. And then they called it Ring uh, okay. after so long. I I I just got a ring a ling ding in. Zach, are you with us? Hey. Yo. Can you hear us, bud? Oh, a little bit. Sounds like you're real far away from the phone. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. So you, I can uh, scream. Is it getting <laughs> is it getting any better or is it worse? Mm, no. This is this is the first phone call we've had since uh we've done the uh FTI live. So we're trying to work yeah. it out right now. Yeah, you sound okay to us. Can you hear me when I scream? I mean like I can hear you guys. It just sounds like you're in a fish tank of some sort. Okay. Oh man, that's so, the that's because the fish tank we're in. Yeah, well, <laughs> if you were viewing, you'd know that. But that's fine. I'll fill you. I'll I'll, I'll get you up to date. <laughs> well, uh, we'll we'll just try to, to talk guys. a little bit louder for you. Okay, yeah, just just yell real loud. Uh, appease me. Not He's got it. <laughs> cool, cool, perfect. <laughs> screw the screw the audio. Yeah, yeah. As long as Zach's got us. We're Everybody, good. turn down your volume. So, Zach, did you hear the 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 ring doorbell story? No, no, I didn't hear that. I heard the. Uh, the civil uprising in Hong Kong and the 
officer that was pretending to be shot. And I was like, oh, I can call it and just add to negativity. Oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah. We just wrapped that up. We were talking about that. Yeah, the fake, the fake, uh, the fake report from the officer in California claiming he got shot by a sniper. They put out a giant manhunt, and it turns out it was all a hoax. Yeah, not cool. Yeah, that's that. So cool. That's what you're referring to. Glad you heard that part. But we just uh, we just actually went into uh, the the Ring story. Ring just signed a deal where they're now uh, they signed with 400 police departments nationwide to make what they're calling the new neighborhood watch in which now the police have direct access to all your video through the through Ring and Ring actually partners with is it Google or no Rings with Amazon so Amazon now has it all in the cloud and when the police need it they can reach out to Amazon and Amazon supposedly sends you an email asking if your permission to use it at spe- specified you know dates and times and then, and again, it's they're they're calling it the largest uh, the largest police private uh, uh, co op in history. I'm okay with that. I mean, if you if you truly can opt out of it, if Amazon is going to be, you know what I mean. But then at that point, how do we really know at any point in time if they're using, you know, if they're just tapped into your shit and looking at your Ring cameras? Yeah, see that that's uncomfortable for me. Well, I mean, I have <clears throat> I have two Ring cameras, one at my front door and like one that faces my driveway. So, I mean, they can tap in all they want. They're not going to see anything. And the point of having the ring camera there is to catch anything that's there anyway. So, yeah. I mean, fuck it. I don't care. You're, You're kind of right. Randomly listen in, you might hear me, like, smacking my wife around. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, it's not it's not in right. video, it's so you can't real. prove it. Because that's the way that I see it. I think that people are going to be catching themselves more than they're catching any other, like, random activity. And everybody's just going to be going to jail and kind of regretting that they even signed up for this. I guess. Well, it kind of goes to the, um, and when I say this, mine's going to go off, the Alexa device, because there's that murder case where they were trying to figure out if this guy like killed his wife or something, and the only evidence they had was the, the Alexa device picked up the audio from it because it's always recording. So right. then they were trying to push through where they can get, you know, they can have access to those. I think that got shut down, but I mean, it, they're going to listen. You know, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Do. I mean, they're getting audio all the time anyway, even if it's just via your phone. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the world we live in, yeah, there's cameras almost at every corner. Like, even if you're just outside walking around, besides if you go into like a random forest, but you're, you're always either on camera or on a microphone or they're picking, they're picking you up one way or another now. Yeah, yeah. Big brother. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. People act like they're not already on camera all the time. Like they think that the only camera they could possibly be on would be the ones that they put up. And in reality, it's like, no, man, you're, you're never not on camera. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess uh, the police department's starting to, uh, get more and more eyes on everybody. I read 1984. I know. Slippery slope. <laughs> Slippery slope. That was there. <laughs> you got my words. Zach. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. use my word, but yeah. my cameras, then my guns. What's next? <laughs> Trump 2020, that's what's next. Fucking slippery slip off of that one. Um, but uh, So, Zach, let's give a little bit of history on who you are. So yeah. You, people don't you know you're not just Zach is the name that came up on my phone when you called. There's context to it. Yeah. So, Zach and I, Zach had a podcast back in the day. It's so funny. I've never really started my own podcast. I've always just glommed on to an already existing deal. So back in the you day, just ruin other people. Yeah, just oh. ruin, just ruin, ruin the other ones, and then move on into the next one. You I feel know? your I'm pain, a succubus Zach. of podcast. I feel so your pain. Zach and my buddy Paul had a podcast back in 2015, 2016. Um, Zach and Paul, and at the time it was Jesse, and um, and it was kind of a little bit of a revolving door of cast members, kind of in, kind of out. And at one point, I came in and guested, and I don't know, we all had we all had uh, good chemistry, and it worked out well. So I stuck around and came as. Many we weeks were like, as this I could, motherfuckers got the goods. until I ruined it and uh, made Zach move to Tampa, <laughs> and the podcast yep. folded. But that was no guarantees, and those were good days, huh, Zach? They were. They were. What was your uh, your favorite or least favorite? You can pick one way, one or the other. It doesn't even matter. What's your favorite or least favorite moment with uh, Coleman here from uh, from those times? Uh, my least favorite was probably when we decided to keep him, and my favorite was when the show ended. <laughs> awesome. No, you, but are, aren't Zach you... suffers from oppositism very, very desperately. Mm. No, that's obviously a, a joke. Um, I was the one that kind of pushed to have Chris on the show. He was always like my go-to guy, 
Which, oh uh, yeah. yeah. When the when the third seat was open, I would always hit him like, "Hey man, like, can you come in?" And usually, most of the time, he was able to. And then we were finally just kind of like, "Yeah, it's good chemistry, and he's already our buddy. Like, you should just do this with us every week." Yeah, I mean that's how I felt because when I was um, I was doing the show by myself, uh, funny to informing here, and uh, I was doing a few shows with Coleman um, off on other shows and, and things like that, and then it uh, it became a thing where I, it just felt kind of natural and it was easier, you know, to do, and it was a lot of fun. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of I feel like we think alike a little bit, Zach. You're obviously smarter than me by a, by a lot but oh man sadly i can't argue that <laughs> as much as i want i know no, no. <laughs> damn yeah. it aren't you aren't you working on a um a show with somebody else now like you just recently got on what what uh, in tampa i think yeah so uh, uh another one of our buddies who chris knows too uh brian harrison he uh he and i well he moved to tampa a little bit before i i did and um so once I moved down here, we kind of like connected and we've, you know, we've been friends since. Um, and then, uh, I'll say a few months ago, um, he started one up. He's a, he's a late bloomer. He, uh, <laughs> he decided to start a show up. Uh, and he came to me when he was starting up. He's like, Hey man, like I think about doing this. Like, here's my concept. Can you, know, can I shoot you over, you know, like a rough episode and take a listen to it? I was like, yeah, man, absolutely. I mean, I don't know what, credentials i have to <laughs> be a judge of what a fucking good podcast is you did like, this before and it folded <laughs> oh. I, I i i spoke into a microphone and said stupid shit i don't i don't yep. know what that yep welcome to our lives as podcasters but, hey i like no I guarantees liked it, so. no guarantees was uh was actually a good because it's still some of them are still up i think people yeah. can go back and listen to them still and they're again yeah, i really enjoyed them yeah, I think they're they're all still on iTunes and stuff like that. And surprisingly enough, like I joke around and everybody, you know, self deprecates and stuff like that. But when when it ended, I actually had like quite a few pe- people reach out to me and like, man, like that sucks. Like I really enjoyed like listening to this. And like I've even had some people within the last year like even hit me up and and say like, hey, like I'm still listening to them. Like they hold up. Like it's still funny. Like and good to hear you're gonna be doing it again. And I'm like shit really like yeah dang. yeah, yeah I mean, for sure <laughs> no i'm and glad he's he's got two under his belt with brian in the new in the new show well brian's existing yeah. show but zach's now a part of it it's still pretty new anyway they're only 12 episodes in total all the small talk all the small stuff all the small stuff i would yeah, fuck it he, up um, he got he did uh 10 or not i think nine episodes by himself and then um as john knows i'm sure like it's it's hard to do something like that by yourself and feel uh, you know, i couldn't imagine yeah. doing it by myself Jeez, yeah feel like an hour at a time so um he he had like some some guests that he brought in stuff like that to kind of you know get get him through and then he asked me to come on and i was like yeah i mean it's been it's been long enough time you know let's let's give yeah, it a go let me again. let me show you how this podcast shit's done you have jack yeah. and coke <laughs> Check. I'm in. <laughs> no, not even that. It's one of those things. Like I'm the conventional guy. I'm like, no, I'm never doing it again. And then, <laughs> and then it's like, all right. Well, it's been a few years. Like maybe people don't hate me so much. I don't know. That's then, fine. The, okay. Yeah, the hate has died off enough. Yeah. Fuck it. And if we, it hasn't, you know, like I always say, if you don't like it, write a diss track. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, exactly what we exactly. recommend. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, he he invited me on and. Um, we had a really good time. It was fun. And then he's like, Oh yeah, that was good. You know, like you want to come back next week? And I was like, yeah, sure, man, of course. And then we kind of just went from there and said, Hey, you want to make this like a, a reoccurring thing and, and do that? And I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, like let's do it. That's awesome. I love it. And then like, um, when I had met you after the, uh, all-star game that was at Exploria oh, yeah. stadium, uh, that, you know, that was the only time we had met. And it was, uh, that was actually like one of my favorite parts about the game itself. Cause it was kind of boring. We got our ass whooped as oh, well, the all-stars did. Match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 But, uh, so I was really glad to have met you that day. And that was, um, before <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. It was completely by chance too. Like we would just happen to like be walking back to our cars and like randomly ran into each other. Yeah. in a crowd of people, I was just like, okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, man, we appreciate you. Uh, yeah. Where you can know, we find the show? Do you want to plug yeah, any yeah, yeah. social media? Your social media, whatever you want to plug, plug it up. Yeah. So uh, the show um, is all the small stuff. Currently, we've been kicking around names, stuff like that. We're we're still trying to decide if we're gonna stick with that or rebrand it. We're not sure yet. We just 
we've been, you know. I'm telling you, Christian and the Logic right. Man. Christian and the Logic Man. That is that is a good name. <laughs> Fairy tales and facts. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just look up like all the small stuff on Facebook, and that'll go to like our, I guess like the official page. But if you look up ATSS group, that goes to the page where everybody can interact and stuff like that. Yeah, the like, new Facebook page. Up. Cool. Yeah, and then um, Instagram is <clears throat> sorry, all the small stuff. Um, and then it's on iTunes. Um, I'm not an Android guy, so I don't know. What it's probably out on. there. Android. I feel like that that yeah, comes as a package. If you're on iTunes, no, you're I, on Google. I, I mean, why I would you not? It it, all you got to do is send a dick pic to Google, and they'll po- they'll post it for the world. <laughs> they don't. There's no fucking. There's no check. There's no checking over policy. They're just like, you want to yeah. share it? I'll share it for you. <laughs> yeah, basically anything uh, that you know you could put it has a search bar. Just look up all the small stuff podcasts, and and you'll find it. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, man, uh, we appreciate you calling. It was uh, really good to talk to you, Zach. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Uh, fix your phone lines. All right, we'll do it. Working on it, asshole. Got it. Sounded like your show yeah. the other day. Bye. Love you. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys. Later, Zach. Thanks, bud. That's uh, Yeah, I like that. That's yeah, That yeah. was a lot of fun. That's I mean, cool. First... We'll get the kinks worked out. Yeah, it was Listen, our first I call. Listen, I called this show, and I could hear the host of, of their show, Brian, his co-host. I could hear him real well. But Zach sounded exactly the same to me. Like, he was across the room, so I was having to, like, get in a real quiet place, make sure I could hear real well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just how it is sometimes, you know. And um, I know we should be expecting a call soon from uh, Coco. Yeah, we should be getting a call from our buddy Coco, yeah. formerly of 1K Where, away. I mean, we'll talk a little bit of sports with him this week and get him on the phone just to kind of introduce the fact that he's coming on once a month. and he, Prelude uh, to his first show like, next week, right? Yeah, yep. like we said, next week. Next is, Thursday, uh, as we record, it'll be the uh, season, the season kickoff. Yeah, of, Bears, of the Packers. NFL. Yeah, NFL yeah. season kickoff. So we're going to c- talk to him. He's actually calling. He's very on point. He's calling in right now. Okay, yeah. So we'll yeah pass the phone we'll back over. We'll get him over. connected. Here we go. No, it's, he's got and, it. Uh, we'll get him connected, and we're all good. Um, yep. So, yeah, it starts. It kicks off Thursday. As we speak right now, it's funny because um, our, our guy running the boards and connecting our phones for us, he's, he's on point tonight doing a killer job, as always, who runs Amplified Network, our buddy Amp. Um, he's a Jags fan. I'm... Obviously a Falcons fan. I have it tattooed on me. Uh, we're playing each other in the last preseason game right now. And oh, really? I, I don't have my phone, so I can't check scores. But um, I feel but, like we're really kicking his ass. No. Probably not. In pre- <laughs> we're, in we're probably losing. Yeah, the, the Falcons don't win their preseason the games. The Jags have a shitty preseason uh, record, too, I looked. It's a bunch oh, of losses on both sides. So oh, somebody's good. walking away with a fucking win. Or we're going to tie 0-0 like a fucking soccer match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the most really boring Really enthralling. Really makes you wonder why you spend money on do it. Do we got? Uh, do we got? Do we get Coco? Coco, we got you on here. What up, fellas? Where you at, Coco? Whoop! Well, hang on, we got some feedback. I know Reverb. that we got a hot mic. Hot mic. The, Coco, we got I you in. When that hotline blinks, <laughs> it can only mean that Coco's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here, man. We got you we finally. Got can him. you hear we us? Okay. How y'all doing? Doing, doing good, buddy. Work. Can you hear us? I can hear y'all a little bit. You know, okay. Does it, soft. does it sound like we're in an aquarium at all? Uh, it sounds like that, uh, like, both of y'all's heads are up each other's asses, and Boom. it's echoing a lot. You got it. Right. That's because our heads are in an aquarium in each other's asses. All of the above That's in a fishbowl. Yeah. Boom. The- but, look, but look, man, I'm just happy to be on with, uh, you know, Chris, a.k.a. Peisenberg, and John, a.k.a. Throws Up in Bagsenberg. Boom. You know, <laughs> He wrote bits. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. I have. I always have a bag ready now. I've learned my <laughs> lesson since then. If you uh, don't, we made bags for our event. And we handed them out. So use that. It's, maybe you uh, shouldn't just. Maybe just think about not drinking so much. Uh, you know, you don't need a bag. Eh, I'm 50 percent Irish. It's, uh, I can't do that. Once it's too late, it's too late. We all know that. <laughs> the, uh, you're just a pure insult to, to the Irish uh, family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So we know um, we were kind of preluding to it before we, uh, you know, got on the line with you that we um, we're going to have you in mainly to uh, really give us like sports updates. You know, uh, probably go over like the whole month, uh, pretty much. Maybe come on once a month. Um, yep. You know, and uh, we, we, we look forward to uh, seeing you next week. So we're going to have you uh, next week, right? Next Thursday? Hell yeah. I'm for down. The, sweet. For the, uh, the, it's the uh, Packers, Packers Bears. Is that Thursday? Yeah. Huge. Oh, one yeah. of the, one of the Bears, biggest rivalries in the team, NFL. Super Bowl champions for this year, the Bears. Yeah. Are, and <laughs> you're a Bears fan, are you not? 
I am a diehard Bears fan. Oh, wow. so leave your fucking prejudices out. We just say. want the facts, sir. Just the facts. <laughs> oh, no. I'll give honest opinion based on a game-by-game -game basis. Okay. But uh, that, that game actually, I mean, the rivalry between the Bears and the Packers is one of the most intense and old rivalries in the league, and it is always a great game no matter what how good either team is. One could be last in the division. They always play each other well. They do. Recently, the, the Packers really have kind of had our number. Last year, we played them well. We lost the first game of the season to them. Uh, Hurt Rodgers, he came back in the game late and ended up you know, coming from behind, which was a classic victory. I give it up to him. Mm. And then, uh, But the Bears didn't, uh, were able to win the second game against them later in the year and clinched the division. Um, you know, the unfortunate uh, double doink. By, oh, uh, yeah. Not be the, named. Yeah. That was, man, <laughs> that was shall epic. shall not be named anymore. Um, that was so unfortunate. Know, it definitely was. So some crappy-ass Eagles team that we should have beat. Hey, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't Eagles, even do Eagles. all that. Yeah. The, we talked about the Falcons <laughs> well, yo, this, fan, and we talked about the Jaguars. This overall, guys, is going to be just straight-up intense. There's so many good teams, not only you know in the NFC, but there's really quality teams throughout the league in the AFC. It could go either way. Divisions are stacked, especially in the NFC, about three teams deep in each league that you, it's really kind of hard to determine on who's going to win each conference. So it's yeah, going to be a hell of a season. Well, and well, that's it's still that, early, too. Yeah. And that, it hasn't even started yet. That's kind of what I wanted from you next week because I guess, like, you know, before the, like the first week officially, officially starts, despite the Bears and Packers playing uh, on that Thursday, I wanted you to kind of before they all start, go through like a prediction of the season, you know, maybe who wins the divisions, uh, you know, gets into the playoffs and then, you know, who you think is going to win it all and do not say the bears. Cause they are, it's just not happening. <laughs> oh, I got you guys on that one. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm ready for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay right. cool. Well, yeah, you did. I'll tell you what, you did call us at the, we were kind of getting to the tail end of did you hears, yeah, yeah. but we felt like now's a better time than ever to get you in. Cause I have a, did you hear that's sports related? And I wanted to ask you, did you hear? So are you down? I'm down. Okay, buddy. Did you hear Carly Lloyd from the U S women's national team? And I believe she plays for the Houston dash in the, in the, uh, the, the women's soccer league. Um, she kicked a 55 yard field goal at practice with the Eagles and got two offers to play in this week's final preseason game for two different teams. Yep. Yeah, no, I heard all about that, and that's amazing. And uh, I actually called a local uh, local radio station. I got one of my buddies who's on there, uh, Nikki Football for ESPN 580. Oh, yeah. Uh, they do a great show, and they, they actually were having that conversation, and I called in and had a good about five-minute talk with him about it in regards to, you know, he thinks it's just kind of a sham, and a lot of people think it's more of a sham. You know, and they're comparing like, oh, it's like if I went to a Magic game and made a three and the Magic offered me a contract. <laughs> Pump your brakes there, first of all, because I don't care who you are. You're, you're knocking a 55-yard field goal in. Like, that's some talent. There's maybe a thousand people worldwide who could possibly do that. I don't know. I Had feel like there's a lot that. of soccer players that could do that. <laughs> yeah, well, Soccer it, players got legs, man. Well, Men, women, no matter what. The most important thing you have to be is consistent. Right. It, it, if, a lot of people can do one. Can you do a bunch? Yeah. That's the, that's and, the question. Well, and yeah, and it was the Eagles, you know, despite everybody shitting on them Fucking right now. Fucking Eagles. No, uh, go are Eagles. They the, are they one of the ones that offered They're, her a it contract? Was, it was the Eagles and the Ravens. Uh, Eagles both. and Ravens, both helpless. <laughs> no, but well, I feel like it's also, um, what's that movie we talked about this earlier? Necessary Roughness, Come to Life. Oh, yeah, Unnecessary yeah. Roughness. She's Kathy but, Ireland. Yeah. But look, she went out there and just kicked around for a while, and they're like, hey, let's see how far you can do it. She's never really done it before right. like, in, in real life. She's never trained for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, You can pull a soccer player, let's just say, you know, let's say Kaká being here in Orlando. Right. You, put you can't Kaka kick it that far. His bone will shatter in 17 pieces. It's ancient. He might kick it that far, but I don't think he's going to make it. Like, she hit it dead on. Yeah, Like, there was yeah. no, like, I feel like got it. I mean, she I feel like, crushed it. I feel like a lot of soccer players can fucking hit that, bro. I've seen some pretty... Amazingly accurate. I, I, shots yeah, I just don't even. Distances. I don't even think some of these soccer players have even tried. My question, though, for you is: Hey, if there's a lot of soccer players out there, especially from the men's, who can kick that, you're telling me that why? Why are there not a lot more soccer players trying out for kicking positions within the NFL? Because those kickers, although they are kickers, those guys are still making two, three, four million dollars a year. Well, yeah, and if you're 
You're the, stuck on the bench somewhere for a soccer team where you're only wow, making, you know, wow. a couple hundred thousand a year. Why are you not trying out for an NFL team? You're killing me, bro. You're killing me. You're, for a soccer team? You sound like such a such a Chicagoan. Yeah. Well, th- no, no, no. It's, uh, you know, uh, with... With Carly Lloyd, you know, I kind of hope she does, you know, become the first woman to, to go into the NFL. Uh, yeah, I that would be cool to see. She's actually kind of like a good advocate for that. But um, a, and she said that she's not even like opposed to hearing offers. Like she's kind of open to the idea. Well, she actually said that she's really considering kind of buckling down over this next year because she is thirty five or thirty six years old. Yeah. So her soccer career is coming to a point where you know it's coming to an end. You know, although she's still a great athlete, but. She's really considering giving it a go next year, um, and uh, there was a, a big name, ki- a big name kicker. I'm trying to remember his name. Morton uh, Anderson. Actually, uh, yeah, Morton Anderson, who's a Hall of Fame kicker, actually offered to give her, you know, instruction leading up to if she really wants to do this. And look, if she could go onto a roster, be able to kick some field goals, make a couple in even a preseason game, yeah. sell some jerseys, get get females more involved with it, it helps to grow the league. Yeah. And who knows, you know, it opens up some doors, maybe not the NFL right away, but you're talking the XFL you have now, you have arena leagues, like you start bringing that into play. That's definitely a, a way really to open up the sports some more, especially with the last couple of years, how the NFL has kind of taken that black eye. This puts them back into full on precedence and really increases the ratings in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Well, and like, and let me ask you, like how many, like, are you in a lot of fantasy football leagues? Say that again. How many? Like, are you in fantasy football leagues? Like, or a lot of them? Or yep, yeah, I got I got two fantasy football leagues going on this year. One that one from another uh, podcaster, Adam Poston, whose league I won last year. And then another one Good I've been people. in actually for fourteen years with the same ten guys. Twelve uh, man league, but we got yeah, three. yeah. I I love I f- love Adam. I was about to curse. Oh, yeah, wow. Dude, I was about to say, I you can, you can curse, bro. Oh, this is our show. I was going to curse. I, actually, yeah, I fucking I love got, Adam. Oops, beat that. All right. on one of my teams. I do think he's going to have a good year. I'll talk I more fucking about love Adam. when I come out next week. Um, but I think Wentz is going to have a, a really spectacular year coming out. What, what, what do you think? Teams. Hey, what, what do you think about Andrew Luck retiring at 29 years old? Uh, you know what? It, I think that's really going to start opening the eyes to the rest of the league. And I don't think it was just about Andrew Luck retiring. I think I don't know if you guys happened to catch Gronk's um, interview a couple days ago. Gronk, uh, Gronkowski from the Patriots. Yeah, no, retired. I read it. It was the easiest read ever. Gronk asshole slam football. I am Gronk. Well, I no, am I Gronk. He had internal bleeding and stuff right after the Super Bowl, and there was four days that he was like, he oh. couldn't sleep, he had bad injuries. That's really what drove him to retire, because remember, he was in his prime as well, too. But he yeah. came, he came back, did he not? Injury. Huh? Didn't he come back? No, Gronk's retired. Uh, well, no, I, thought, I, feel bad. I thought he was going to come back. Well, I heard he, had, uh, he was know, deciding he, to come back after he retired. People, People speculate, but even with the interview the other day, because he's full supporting a CBD and medical marijuana company, uh, and he's really encouraging the mm. NFL to open up more for alternative treatments to be able to allow these players to have some ways to help relieve pain that aren't like opioids and things like that. They got to do something, so, right? They got to do yeah, something because of the CTE is fucking crazy, and the NFL is not going to be around forever if they keep this shit up at this pace. No, and you got these younger guys that, you know, they make good money. Gronkowski and Luck are kind of the, you know, kind of the, the peak of it where they've made a ton of money in regards yep. to what they do, and they've been, they're able to retire early and still keep their bodies for the most part, which I totally respect and understand. But you got these other guys that are making, you know, league minimum and, you know, a million dollars a year, let's just say, contract. I think league minimum is about 750000 But even at a million dollars a year, which is a lot of money to us, you know, these players are going in and they get that, and that's what they want to do, and they're sacrificing their bodies, and they're not getting technically the treatment that they should be able to get. Yeah. Everything with the concussions coming out, uh, what, about 10 years ago? Yeah. Uh, with, about eight years ago with the movie uh, that Will Smith did, and – and well, you and know, I noticed it. Like, hero Will Smith. Yeah, well, I, I noticed it like notoriously with basketball. It seems like every pl- like retired player's knees start to go way before your knees are ever supposed to give out well, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And like that seems like to be the the number one injury for NBA them. NBA players and porn stars, they always first to go. <laughs> but Coco, yeah, I mean, for, thank you, man. Thank you for your time, brother. We're about to have to. Hey, we're gonna no worries, get to wrapping guys. the show up here shortly. 
Yeah, we'll have you on next week. You can hang out the whole time, talk all the sports, all yeah, the non-sports. Um, yeah, you can hold it down so I can take a piss break. It's you, amazing. Uh, Thank you, you. UCF football oh, is yeah, playing. I, I can't wait to explain why the Falcons are going to come in dead last in that division. Oh, okay. I can't <laughs> wait for a logical explanation on that myself, sir. <laughs> all right, fellas. Y'all have a good night. Thanks, yeah, you man. too, man. Yeah, because with uh, like uh, college football, like kind of just recently kicking it off, just you, started you, last over the weekend. UC, we made the mistake of trying to go downtown. UCF pl- is after playing their first game tonight. Terrible, UM. Oh yeah, UF game. The Gators and yeah, the Miami, Gators and the who? Miami hur- hur- Hurricanes. All right. Well, since since we're wrapping up the show here shortly, guys, <laughs> that was the that was the word of the week. So every time you heard John say hurricane this week, you were to drink your drinks. So oh wow, you should have been drunk early on because we cleared that up a long time ago. But uh, so we got wow. one more digi. We got yeah, a couple more quick digis. Um, quickly, uh, I saw the Dave Chappelle special on Netflix. A, you did was, not. I did not. B. There was a lot of feedback uh, from that that I've been seeing. That it shit non-stop. is controversial for whatever reason. Well, now because uh, I really want to watch it, I just haven't yet. Well, gotten take around an to hour it. out of your night, and I'll tell you this: after the uh, after the credits roll, stick around. There's an extra twenty minute little second piece, and it's just him doing crowd work at a different at a different venue. And he literally like puts a mic in the crowd and has people line up like they're at a town hall meeting. And they come up and just ask their one question or whatever they want, and he and he See, fucking replies w- to it. It's great. I would have been the idiot that would have like get like once I saw the credits roll, find the next uh, Netflix show or something. Like I don't really. No, no, I, I didn't know. Stay I saw it on Facebook. I, luckily, there was a lot of talk about it on Facebook. I just happened to be scrolling through a thread of talk, like fucking controversial. This contra- It's not. It is. It isn't. Blah blah blah. In my opinion, it's not. It's comedy. If you don't like it, turn it off. Don't watch it. Disagree with it, but don't call well, for the okay, guy's. So, well, don't call for the guy's head. I just want. I just want to know: Is it Dave Chappelle? Is it anything new for Dave Chappelle? It's no. It's Dave Chappelle. I mean, it's new jokes, min, min material. But it's right. Dave Chappelle doing Dave Chappelle, bro. Okay, that's, and it's that's unedited all I care about. and doing whatever, doing what he does best. And he just he lampoons everybody, man. Like there's a whole section on it. I'm not going to spoil it, but where he talks about whites and the opioid epidemic and how he relates it to how now it's whites and the opioid epidemic. Versus in the 80s, it was blacks and the crack epidemic. And he's like, didn't nobody give a shit about blacks and the crack in the 80s? I don't give a shit about <laughs> y'all and your fucking yeah. heroin today. Oh, I, I do have to watch it. I feel and, like I'm going like to like it. Like, I, I don't, I I don't need to like write it. Netflix because he said that. You know what I mean? It's fucking yeah. funny. And I even know people affected by that shit. But it's it's still, it's a joke. Like, I'm not, I don't see how people get so out of shape over that shit. Uh, yeah, but it, it's it, is been, a, uh, it is a lightning rod on, it, on social media right it's now. It's been, yeah, breaking the internet a little bit. And, uh, you know, Again, I, I know I want to watch Kim it. another Kim Kardashian's ass. Breaking the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John's calls everything breaking the internet. It just puts Kim Kardashian's okay. ass in my head. It's been like twice or three times. Um, I will say this. I know last week we got a lot of a lot of action in the chat tonight. Thank you, guys. Foe, I see you in there all night. Uh, Adri, you've Adri been Mama, in there all night. yeah, for helping us out at the event and for, for uh, being in the chat. Yeah, for just for being there all the time. Um, uh, I saw Bluegill in there earlier. Bluegill, um, everybody, yeah. yeah, everybody participating and in, in logging on in the chat room. We appreciate it. We see you guys. Oh, it was Ryan. a busy show, so we weren't we weren't in there really to go back and forth with you a lot tonight. But last week, I got a lot of requests. I wore this hat. If I'm not from Jamaica, why would I wear this hat? But I wore this hat, and I uh, got a lot of uh, <laughs> got a lot of traction on it. People were like, "Where can I get the hat? Where I want a hat?" Uh, we got it worked out. We have a link for the hats. We Why didn't going... you wear it tonight? Because I was wearing this one. Follow me at this. Oh, but, okay, uh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just boom. It's right there, and uh, you guys uh, will put the link. We're gonna put the link in our group page. Funny informatives, um, and John is going to put it in the description for the podcast when it comes out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever you get your podcast, it'll be in the description. There will be a link. So yeah, check the group page and on Facebook. Different colors, guys. The bills are interchangeable. I just found this out. I was on. I was like looking at the link, and I'm like, oh my god, I got to get more. The you, you can, can change get different the bills. colors. When you change the bill color, as a hat guy, this is big. When you change the bill color, the little <laughs> fennel at the top or finial, whatever they call it, the cap stud is changes to the same color, and you can change the whole color of the hat. It's fucking awesome. I'm super excited. Snap back. Snap back. Great hats. Super high quality. Green underbill. I really like it. It's a yeah, super man. nice hat. We, so uh, and the we, links will be up. You guys can go get them tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Decal Junkie. Todd. Yeah. He's, uh, Shout the one out that to him for doing that. Hooks us up with a lot of uh, some of the nice stuff that we get. Um, um, it's kind about- of in closing. I did uh, real quick Restaurant Impossible. 
As, oh, as yeah. we record today, Thursday, that will be out uh, Saturday, the 31st, at 10 o'clock on Food Network. It is the episode in which they followed back up five years later with Torna Tours. Um, they didn't talk to me on camera, thank God. Uh, <laughs> but they did get some shots of me like throwing pies and stuff. I don't know. I might be in there. Um, but it's a cool story. And it, I feel like I'm interested to see... As a guy who was there for the shooting of, how they put this together and edited it, and you know, yeah, what I, mean? well, I saw it come together. So now I want to see the final, the final piece. So it's Saturday, a, ten o'clock, I'll be watching. Assuming we all have power. I know. We, <laughs> there's no promise of that, and it's uh, it's so awesome to see like when something in Orlando and a restaurant or you know any type of business is featured on yeah. a national network, you know, uh, television show. So uh, yeah, restaurant possible uh, Saturday ten. Um, and I kind of do like Robert Irvine too. He's kind of like a little bit. He looks like a meathead, but he knows punk, he knows what bro. he's doing. In between uh, little shoots, he goes out and busts out push-ups and shit. Yeah, he, has, he, he knows what he's doing. You know, he's, oh, he's smart. I found one more last. Did you hear before we wrap up? Okay, all right. Cool. Did you hear? Perfect. Did you hear? No. Well, you might have. Hang on. Let me ask you. I don't know. <laughs> Did you hear? Here in Florida, the lines to get fuel to prepare for this upcoming hurricane are only mm. rivaled by the lines to get Popeye's chicken sandwiches. I guess when you're facing death next week, what's it matter where you get your gas? <laughs> all right, yeah. Did you hear? Boom. <laughs> and we tip uh, your pizza maker. I'll be here all week. Are just about uh, out of here. Yeah, you said tip your pizza maker first, but uh, we I hope just you guys enjoy listening as much as we enjoy chatting and shooting the shit. You can laugh uh, with, with us, us or, or at us. us. It Jinx, doesn't you matter. And uh, funny to informing at gmail dot com, or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram dot com slash funny to informing. And, uh, Twitch.tv slash Amplified Network. Follow yeah. it. It'll give you updates on when we go live, which is generally Thursdays at 7. See you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Welcome. We thank you for listening with us today. We ask that you please stow away and secure all important items. There are no emergency exits. So, just sit back, relax, fasten your earbuds, and enjoy.